Hi everybody, Jake Breen here with Utah Cribs web blog. Thanks for tuning in. Last Friday on February 3rd, there was what's called the forecast breakfast. This happens every year and a lot of realtors get together uh, along with Lawrence Yoon from uh, National Association of Realtors and James Wood, who's kind of recognized as the most foremost economist um, with the economic department at the University of Utah on Utah's residential real estate market. So they get together and give a prediction about the following year and let us know um, the statistics and numbers of the past year. So I know that here at Utah Cribs, we're always giving you this information, but sometimes I like to give direct quotes from those experts so you can hear it from them and not just us. So here's kind of the highlights that came out of that meeting last week. James Wood said, for the first time in 40 years, the rise in households in Utah exceeds the number of new housing units. Simply put, that's simple economics. We're really outpacing supply with demand right now. When he talked about apartments, he said that the apartment vacancy rates are the lowest levels they've been in decades, despite the historic boom in new construction apartments. So since 2012, we've added 20,000 units in Salt Lake, as far as apartments go, yet we're still outpacing that supply as far as move-in. So with that in mind, he said, um, 2016 was the best year for Salt Lake County housing market in a decade when it comes to number of sales. It was extremely robust. In fact, in Salt Lake County, just over 13,600 sales occurred. Again, highest number of units sold in 10 years. To put that in contrast, in 2009, um, the typical Salt Lake area property listing went on the market and it was on the market for an average of 81 days. Okay. Guess what it was in 2016? All those 13,600 plus sales had an average days on market of just 13 days. That's absolute insanity. And so in predicting what might happen in 2017, he said, we're gonna see another five to 7% increase in pricing. Here's a direct quote from him. These fundamentals combined with the exceptional strong demand as well evidenced by record low days on market will push median sales price of single family homes to the 310 to possibly 315,000 price range. It's currently sitting at 295,000, okay? And he says condominium sales should be even stronger. And he ends with this quote, overall, it's going to be a tight market for buyers and renters. Wood said, prices are going to come down I'm sorry, prices aren't going to come down, interest rates aren't going to come down, and availability is not going to improve much. You just have to pull the trigger. So I wanna say one thing before I end this video. A lot of times when we post stats that prove that now is a good time to buy or you should pull the trigger, I do get comments fairly often from people saying, well, of course you'd say that. You're a real estate salesperson, so it behooves you to tell us to buy. But everything I just read you is a direct, direct quote from um, the foremost economist on our residential market in Utah, Dr. James Wood. And he simply said that at the end, overall it's going to be a tight market for buyers and renters, prices aren't going to come down, interest rates aren't going to come down, and the availability is not going to improve much. You just have to pull the trigger. So he's really saying exactly what we say. If you combine rapid increasing prices which again, it's the spring season starting about now in February, along with rising interest rates, and we all know that that's been forecasted that they're coming and it's already started, along with our super tight inventory, the best deal you're gonna get on a house is the one you buy the quickest. And I know everybody likes to shop and I know everyone says, I'll wait for the right house to come along, but you've watched a lot of our videos that prove that that's a fallacy. And really, we can help you understand it, not just sell that to you. So please talk to us so we can educate you so that you make an educated decision on the market.